everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee and we are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Today we're going to be continuing our Christmas craft show, craft fair series, ideas on what to take, what to make, and we're going to be doing a disc round today. And what I've done first is I've painted this belief sign. Now this came from one of the packs from the Dollar Tree and I've just painted it. And I'm going to take one of my paint markers and I'm going to slash the E's so they're just a little differentiated. Okay, now we're going to set this aside and let this dry just like that. I think this is so pretty. Alrighty. And what we're going to do with our round, we're going to paint the top and bottom sections in the Craftwise chalkboard paint. I purchased this at the Dollar Tree. Now, guys, this is my go-to. I love this paint, and I use it a whole, whole lot. I'm just going to spray, spray. I'm just going to squeeze some right on here, like so. This may do the top and the bottom. We'll see in just a second. Try to be careful not to hit the board, just like so. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the top and the bottom sections of our round painted in the chalkboard paint. Be right back. Okay now, so we're going to take our Antique Wax by Waverly. Okay, I'm going to literally just do this a little bit at a time. It's almost like a syrup consistency, guys. So I think that should be enough. And it doesn't waste it. I'm going to try to be really careful up here. If I have to go with a smaller brush up there, that's fine. So I'm going to get this on here like so. Then we're just gonna wipe this off, put some on, wipe it off. And as it dries, I'll go back and refine the edges, get closer to the black. Okay. Just like so. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this on here. I'm going to wipe it off and we'll be right back. And so what I've done is I've taken my, let me see guys, let me get you guys straighter here. Here we go. I've taken my tan colored marker. Okay, this is actually taupe. And I've traced around these three gnomes and I just pulled this off of a Valentine sign that I had purchased from the Dollar Tree last year. I'm just going to pull this right off. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I have, again, this silver chalk paint by Folk Art and it's really, really awesome. And I'm going to literally go around this with a very, very fine paintbrush and this is tedious and it takes a little time but it's well well worth it guys because it looks really really good when you're finished okay let me get this wiped off here that's what i'm going to do just simply like this i'm just going to kind of drag it through here like so and i'm just going to start right here and when i'm finished with a stroke i'm going to lift up okay I'm not going to like pull it and pull the color out. I'm just going to lift straight up when I'm finished with a stroke. Just like so. Okay. There we go. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go around this and we'll be right back. Because I'm going to take our believe sign and I'm going to put it, even though it's right over that, I'm still going to put it there. Okay. Just kind of kitty corner it. I think that'll look super, super cute. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of E6000 for security. And 
you know, I don't want to be predictable with my rounds. I want to make them different. I want some of my bows to be on the bottom, some to be on the top, some to be on the sides. Then I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue for the right now hold, which I'm going to have to put another stick in here. I can see that. Okay, we're going to go just like this, right in the center, hopefully right there. There we go. Just like that. Okay. I love it. Now, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to, I might even dab a little more hot glue on here. We're going to make our bow. Okay. I think this is really, really cute. All right, we're going to make our bow. How we're going to do that is I'm going to take some Velcro. We're going to attach some Velcro. We're going to make a bow. Yes, we're going to take this piece of Velcro. Okay, now I purchased this at, I want to say the Dollar General store. I'm literally going to go right down here. We're going to wing this, kind of eye it right there. Okay, and I'm going to put the soft part right here. Okay. Now let's go get our bow. Let's see what kind of bow we're going to put on there. So I've taken some of the black buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Okay. And I've just made the bow as big as I want to make it. And I'm going to take some of this black ribbon here. That is from Hobby Lobby, I do believe. All right. And I'm going to glue it back here first, just like so. All right. I'm going to take this. I'm going to start going around with this, just like so. I'm making the center to our bow. There we go. Just like that. Now I want that to stay like that. We can trim the ends, the whole nine yards, and then we're going to put some foliage on here as well for Christmas, of course. Okay. Now, we want to right like this. There. Now, Oh. We're going to glue the other part of our Velcro. Onto the back of our bow. Just like so. You can stick it on there. You don't even need to glue it, guys. Here we go. Just like that. Okay. Now, so we have our bow. Our bow is now interchangeable. Okay. So we want to put a little sprig of greenery and stuff on it and around it, but not directly on top of it to where we're gluing it on the piece itself. Okay. So what we want to do is take some of our greenery Maybe a little poinsettia. This is really pretty. Put it right here and have some of our greenery down here. Okay. You can glue above your bow. You just don't want to get the glue on your bow, guys. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this off. We're going to glue this right here. Just like so. All 
All right, now we're going to take some greenery and we're going to put down below just like this guys let me turn this towards you more okay these are sprigs from one of my joanne sprigs okay so we're gonna go just like this hot glue you can put a little e6000 there too if you'd like that'll really help hold it some more hot glue and remember we're trying not to hit the center bowl with hot glue okay we're gonna set this sprig right here little hot glue there we go just like so okay now all right a couple berries Just like so. Okay, there we go. Okay, just like so. So pretty. I love doing these little bows up, guys. I did some little shovels earlier, and oh my gosh, I just love doing these up. Okay, let's look and see what that's looking like. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Now, we need some greenery over here, though, guys. We do. I can't just go with greenery on the bottom for some reason. I'm about more greenery, I guess. So, let me see what I got down here in my stash. We got some poinsettia greenery going on. That's pretty cool. But... I don't know. Let me see this. Hmm. What do we need? We need some up here, don't we? Some maybe under the bow and out. Oh, and this is my good old go-to greenery. You guys have seen me use this a whole lot in the past few weeks. I purchased these at Joann's and I love them. Okay, these are awesome, awesome sprays love them okay i'm just gonna stick that right on there like that and again our bow is totally interchangeable you can just pull that bow right off of there okay i'm gonna go ahead and stick this here maybe we'll stick it this way we're going to we're gonna stick this just the opposite way guys so we're gonna put this here like this and then these particular sprays guys they came like this they have like an ice an iced like limb on them i love that so much it's so pretty so i'm going to go ahead and cut this off okay i just think they're so gorgeous and we might stick this actually under we're going to just like that under the poinsettia stick a little hot glue on there and again guys i would highly highly suggest e6000 on this but right now, for time purposes, I'm just not going to do it. But later, I will go back in there and add some E6. Okay, let's see what this is looking like. All right, guys, I think this is just kind of perfect. Not too much, not too little. I love this. Just an idea for a craft show or a craft fair, guys. And if you like what you've seen today, go ahead, give me a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell right next to your subscription, and you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. I can also be found on Facebook and Instagram. And if you'd like, you can buy me a coffee to help support my channel. Again, have a great day, everyone. Catch you in the next one. Bye.